As London prepares for another busy day, there's a team of people working hard to set up meeting and training space for some of the UK's biggest companies. With over 40 London locations and 64 venues across the UK, they've got more space than anyone else. Today, they're setting up for training days, interviews, meetings, brainstorms, and any other requirements their clients have thrown at them. Their staff are taking care of all the details, so clients can come in and focus on their meeting. From start to finish, they're on hand to make sure everything runs smoothly. Good morning. Hi, I'm Hugo Taylor, and I'm here in the heart of the City of London to find out more about MWB Venues. MWB Venues specialise in training and meeting space, and have more of it than anyone else in London. Graham Upton's the general manager here. How are you doing, Hugo? He's going to here to show me around and tell me a bit more about this venue. This is MWB Liverpool Street, based at 55 Old Bull Street. So what we have here is we've got quite a chic and contemporary feel, which is quite on brand for the companies that are in the area. Mm. It's all professional services and banks and, and that kind of clientele. It's quite a surprise, actually, because they're not used to having a meeting or training space of this kind of uh, look and feel. So it's like stepping into their yeah. own office, away from office, so to speak. How many meeting rooms are there here? Uh, we've got two floors of meeting space uh, at mm. Liverpool Street. Um, on this floor alone we have 13 meeting rooms. Okay, so over here we've got the Beaumont uh, room which is yeah. uh, a 12 to 14 people executive boardroom. Mm -hmm. Can we go inside and have a look? Um, normally it's a no uh, disturbance policy but uh, seeing as it's you, I'm like. sure they won't mind. Hi there. Hi. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Sorry for interrupting. It's okay. What are you guys doing in here? Uh, we're, just, we're just having our quarter done. I recognise you. Haven't you got him as your screensaver? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not you. Yeah. Yeah. It's you. I'm sorry, one of yeah, them has you as your screensaver. Oh. This is Isabel Yugo. Hi, Isabel. Bye, Lily. Bye, Bye. Hello. How are you? How are you? Nice you to meet you. you. So I've just come from the Beaumont room, and this one is much, much larger. What have you got going on in here today? Yes, well, this is one of our largest rooms here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's actually three rooms we've divided into. Okay, so how many people can this room hold once everyone's sitting down? Um, about 150 in total, um, okay. but obviously it depends on what the event is for. So when you arrive, is everything kind of ready to go? You've got the TV and AV? And AV is quite crucial for this meeting mm -hmm. because it's a global penetration meeting. So we're just right. trying to see both Kingsley and myself that the resolution is correct. And they also get the AV included in the room higher rate. Looks great, as does the room. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. <laughs> I'm in the Shakespeare room right now, which is perfect for breakout sessions. As you can see, we've got two groups of people working in the same room, distinctly on projects of their own. Well, Lynn is the catering manager here, and she's going to walk me through a couple of the dishes that they can provide for almost Actually, any Hugo, of we've prepared you something specially. Oh! <laughs> My favourite thing in the world, spiders. Does it take you back to the jungle? Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. But luckily, they weren't all that big. Anyway, let's leave this one aside. Yeah, let's go and try yeah. the food. So today we've got our street food laid out for you. Um, it's like Asian inspired. Yeah, it is Asian inspired, but it's mm. sort of world foods as well. We mix and match like. the dishes. But it's really important that the food is fresh and it's, it's not stodgy. When it's nutritious, it helps people concentrate, you know, definitely more productive. It's so unusual to see such, like, you know, high-end catering in a venue like this. I would normally expect something so much simpler, but this is really, really quite out of this world. It's absolutely huge up here, and uh, Graham tells me that you're redoing basically the whole floor. We are, yeah. We've got huge plans to um, develop this room. We've got a large amount of capex that we're spending. It's really in response to what our clients have been telling us. Mm -hmm. They really want small, focused space, between 10 and 25 delegates. And the space will be flexibly built up here with okay. dividing walls so that they can do that. So it works perfectly then for all of the companies as, you know, you're right next door. You're right in the middle of the city. And, you know, when time is money, it must be a really helpful thing to be located right on the 
doorstep of all of these big companies. Yeah, our location's absolutely critical for a lot of our clients. You know, trying to get from one side of London to the other is a problem for people. Time is mm. an issue. We've got 40 venues in the city, so we're yeah. right on the doorstep of all the major footsies. A lot of it, to be honest, is that people really want the perception of the venue they're using to be right. I think the economic downturn several years ago means that going and being seen going into a five-star hotel sets yeah. the wrong tone. People could know when they come here, they're coming to work, mm -hmm. and people get the best ROI on their training or meeting because they're in a business-to-business -business environment. And our service is absolutely tailored to support that kind of need. So my name is Joanne Allen, and I'm the Training and Events Manager at the Chartered Institute of Internal Auditors. I find the interior very contemporary. Um, latest technology is, is in every room. I find them uh, bright and airy, um, very relaxed atmosphere, which then makes a great training environment. And the staff are efficient, very helpful. And I know there have been times when we've relied on them when we've not been available and they've done a great job. Hi, today I'm here at the Cannon Street office and I'm going to meet the team and find out a little bit more about the venue. There's a bit of a different vibe here. It's a bit more corporate, a little bit more traditional and polished. Um, this is Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte, a little birdie told me that you won um, quite a prestigious award. Do you want to tell me about that? Yes, um, I actually got this from uh, a client of ours, RBC, um, for outstanding customer service, which is something we pride ourselves on here at Cannon Street. So this is the senior management team um, getting ready for their daily meeting in the morning where they kind of discuss what's going on throughout the day and make sure everything's nice and prepared. We've got five events happening today. Uh, three of them are repeat clients. We've got Barclays in from 9 o'clock. Uh, Deutsche Bank are coming in from 10. My name is Malcolm Horton. I am the head of global recruiting and training for Nomura Investment Bank. Using these venues was the first time we had to extend our premises effectively outside our main building. So we were particularly worried about asking people to put on their coats, walk down the street, and expect them to have the same experience as if they were in our own building. Everything that we've gotten back from them is no concerns, no worries, felt like they were able to reach us, did not have to travel too far, the technology worked, the service was great, everyone was here when they were supposed to be, and it felt a very professional experience for everyone. The place looks fantastic. Yeah. What a room. Oh my God, what a view. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. A lot of clients take it because of the view of St Paul's Cathedral. Natural daylight is fantastic here. A lot of high-end um, clients, mm -hmm. local Unilever, Vodafone, uh, Nomura use us quite regularly for their uh, big mm -hmm. board meetings. You've got bank just up the road, mm -hmm. Cannon Street on our doorstep. I mean, you're actually you're in the heart of the city. It's absolutely perfect for business. Wow, it's beautiful. You get a bit of blase about it after yeah. a while. <laughs> Aside from this uh, bountiful selection of teas that you've got behind you, uh, how do you deliver on your clients' expectations in terms of uh, food and drink uh, when uh, catering for an event? For me, it's all about knowing your clients, getting to know the, the key bookers, building rapport with them and, and knowing exactly what they want. And what different types of food do you have on offer? Uh, anything from sandwiches, salads, to Cold Fork Buffet, right through to the street food that you tried at Liverpool Street the other day. So this is Caroline and Chido, and you could call them the uh, voice of the company. Uh, you guys work on the desk dealing with all the initial inquiries, right? Yeah, that's right. We take all the incoming calls coming into the company and mm -hmm. get to talk to people all over the country. What size are uh, meeting space you looking for? You're the first port of call, really. Yes, so we enjoy building relationships and we really look forward to um, working with our clients. Oh, brilliant. Well, you guys sound like a really good team and I'm sure everyone who speaks to you thinks exactly the same. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been an incredibly informative experience getting to know more about this business. With over 40 centres in London, remarkable catering and an extreme focused and flexible staff, it's a real one-stop shop for all your business needs when it comes to having meetings.